What's going on guys? I'm here making a video I'm giving you guys five tips on weight loss. These are the five tips that really helped me out, so I'm happy to show you what they are. First tip that I recommend you do is track your food. It doesn't matter what you eat, as long as you start tracking your food and get an idea of what you're consuming and putting in your body, it'll give you a better idea of what you can do to fix it. So when I first started tracking my food, I realized I was consuming way more fats than I should. And gaining that information itself helped me put myself in a caloric deficit and adjust my macros accordingly. So for me, I was personally higher on fats, so my fats would actually stay a little higher and I would slowly decrease them because as soon as I start making dramatic changes, that's when I start crash dieting and that's when things become unrealistic to maintain. So number one thing is track your food. It doesn't matter what you eat, start tracking. It'll show you what you're eating and it'll get you in the habit of actually starting to input your food into an app. That's tip number one. And tip number two is consume high volume foods. Salads, strawberries, fruits, veggies. Foods that will keep you satiated longer and actually have more nutrients to offer you. So for example, for me, what I typically like to do is make a huge salad, add broccoli, add mushrooms, and maybe even strawberries, which is kind of weird, but those are low in carbs, high in volume and high in nutrients. A bowl of that will keep me more full compared to a pizza pop. So even though I would enjoy the pizza pop, right off the bat, salad itself is gonna keep me more full. Tip number three, consume lots of water. So your mind actually plays tricks on you and it actually tells you that you're hungry when you're actually just could be thirsty. So before you actually start digging into a bag of chips, I highly recommend you drink some water and plenty of it. Not only is it good for you, but it also keep your stomach full and it'll keep you satisfied. Tip number four is track your progress. I can't stress it enough, but don't always rely on a scale because the scale is just measuring your overall weight. So don't always rely on scale. Uh, take measurements, take progress photos. Progress photos is probably the number one thing I recommend because it actually shows your progress throughout like each day. So progress pics is the number one thing of tracking your prog tracking your progress um, as well as measurements will help as well. And tip number five is do it for yourself. I can't stress this one enough because if you, as soon as you start doing this for someone else, you won't be successful because overall, it, you're, you're not doing it for your, the right reasons, number one, and it's hard to stay on track. You have nothing to lose. You're, you're basing your whole goals around somebody else's life and eventually you're, not, you're gonna keep trying and trying, but it's not gonna work out. I try to cut every summer. 2012, 13, 14, 15, I failed every time because I was doing it for the wrong reasons. Because I was trying to impress the people around me and I was also trying to look good for social media. Here's an example. So of course, I just got, I just finished the Summer Shredding Classic show and of course I indulged, I gained a bit of weight and I'm looking a little more fluffy. I'm not as shredded, which I'm not, well, I'm not shredded and that's fine. But the thing was, it affected me mentally because I was well known to be lean, shredded for most of, of course, my YouTube and vlogs and stuff like that. So it really had a negative impact on me. So I started to, you know, cut for social media. And for the last couple of weeks, I struggled because I was doing it for the wrong reasons. But now that I'm actually heading to California, I know that I'm doing it for myself. So cutting for the last three days, knowing that I'm doing it for myself, 100% way more easier because it is my goal and it's the reason the reason why I want to get lean is because I want to not to impress anyone else so those are my five tips guys let me know if you guys want me to talk through other stuff um, I just want to give you these five tips because I know these are the tips that helped me throughout my weight loss journey and I know they'll they can if applied correctly they can help you too so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video